I'm talking about Situation Stranding and Bycatch in Hokkaido, Japan. Do you know Cetaceans? Cetacean includes whale, dolphin, porpoise, orca, and so on. Currently, Cetacean includes 91 species in the world. They are categorized to baleen whale and toothed whale. That baleen plate of a whale and this is a tooth, teeth of a toothed whale. Baleen whale eat small fish and plankton by using the filter made by hundreds of baleen plates there. And toothed whale eat large squid and fish by using tooth. Dolphin, porpoise, orca are categorized as a part of the toothed whale. Cetacean, whale or dolphin, they sometimes come to the coast, sometimes alive, sometimes dead. All of them are called stranding or cetacean stranding. Sometimes stranding means uh, this kind of vessel problem, uh, vessel accident. When vessel come to the shore and it cannot move by the shallow water, it is called stranding. But in this uh, 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 movie, uh, we call the stranding, especially for the cetacean. How do you think if you found this kind of stranding? It's amazing, isn't it? However, it's sometimes smelly, dirty. No one like it. It has happened from very old time. Uh, for example, a famous ancient Greek philosopher, Aristotle, wrote the stranding almost 2,500 years ago. Recently, because everyone has smart home, we can find many strandings from a social network service. Sometimes fishers report a cetacean in the fishing net. It is called bycatch. We include this kind of event as a stranding. As you know, cetacean, whale or dolphin, is the top predator in the marine ecosystem. Various events in the ocean can be archived in the body of cetacean. For example, the disease, pollution, plastics, prey species awareness. Sometimes uh, cetacean may be died due to human activities such as fisheries or vessel accident. It's very difficult to survey the cetacean body except stranding. It's very difficult to capture well or to collect the sample from the alive well. It's very difficult. So the stranding can be a very precious occasion for the survey of the cetacean. So, a stranding survey may find the solution for the coexistence of the marine ecosystem and human, but very difficult to prepare for the survey because it incidentally happens. For whale survey, dolphin survey, cetacean survey, uh, we have three kinds of surveys. The first one is capture capture survey, second one is sighting survey, and the third one is the stranding survey. The three methods has a uh, merit and demerit. Capture survey can collect the specimen and it's very scientific so they can uh, collect the sample randomly, but the problem is it's lethal. The human have to kill whale or dolphin for this survey, and the cost is very high. Sighting survey, it's a survey uh, for observe the whale or dolphin from the vessel. It is also scientific and we can collect the random sampling and the cost is not so high. 
and it's not lethal. We don't need to kill the whale or dolphin. But from sighting survey, it's very difficult to collect sample. So besides these two methods, the stranding survey can collect specimen, and the cost is low, and uh, we don't need to kill a dolphin or a whale for this survey. And the very important feature is we can uh, find uh, some proof of the cause of death. So only from the sampling uh, stranding survey, we can consider the cause of death. So for preparing the stranding survey, the researchers uh, sometimes makes a group of a group for the stranding. It is called stranding network. The stranding network uh, tries to rescue the stranded animals or collecting the information of stranding of marine mammals and also collect the specimen of the dead animals. The method of establishing the stranding network will be the effective collection of stranding information or the potential increase of the survival rate of the stranded marine mammals because someone can uh, go to the site uh, as soon as possible when the information comes. Or also that we can collect a better specimen uh, from dead stranding because uh, uh, the one of the member can achieve to the uh, 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 the location and get the fresher, fresher specimen. And uh, widely collected and distributed and collected by well-trained researchers. And uh, it will contribute from the, these uh, activities. We can contribute the animal welfare and the situation researches through the stranding networking. So we started the stranding network Hokkaido uh, from 2007. And uh, from 2021, uh, we were uh, non profit organization NPO and uh, we are trying to contribute to cetacean and fisheries research especially for the conservation of the biodiversity or the coexistence of a marine ecosystem and human so for this purpose we try to distribute information and specimen uh, as wider as possible as a specialist of stranding survey. The important point of stranding network is the people's recognition. If many people know the stranding network, so the uh, stranding information will come to us. So we try to uh, distribute our uh, activities to the wider people by using the leaflets or the book and uh, we asked to the uh, media to to write our activities this is our web page you can visit kujira110.com uh, kujira means where in japanese and 110 is a emergency call number and uh, if the, we find the stranding, the details of the information uh, is appeared on the web page. And as far as possible, we are trying to go to the site and conduct the on-site survey. So sometimes if the dolphin is small, so we can collect the a dead body uh, back to the our lab and we make a dissection, but it, because it, sometimes it's too large to bring it back. So at this time we made the uh, on-site on di dissection. We collect the sample and the information. And when we collect the sampling, samples, specimens, 
uh, we distribute the various samples to various in research institutes, including universities or the research centers or the uh, specimen bank. This graph shows the number of events, stranding events we received from 2007 to 2021. Uh, before we started the stranding network, the average uh, recorded stranding event is around 30 per year. But after that, we collect almost 60 for average and 2021 it's more than 100. This table shows the uh, uh, species uh, list we collected. We identified at least 24 species and uh, many unidentified bodies also there. So the, uh, from the establishment of our stranding network, we collected uh, 891 cases 1,003 individuals in 14 years. This is a location map of the uh, stranding in Hokkaido. Uh, we are here. We, our office is in Hakodate, but uh, we collected the uh, stranding all over the Hokkaido, uh, and sometimes we visit the. Uh, stranding site to make this on-site survey. So from here to here, it takes more than 10 hours by drive. Our information is distributed by mailing list and our web page. And adding this, our information is recorded in GBIF the Global Biodiversity Information Facility is a very big database of the biodiversity globally. So uh, our data is uh, 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 recorded in English in this database and everyone, the world researcher, can access to our, our stranding data. Through these activities, so uh, our samples were utilized to the uh, scientific research, including the distribution or migration or life history research, diet research, bycatch research, pollution research, and new species or rare species description. And these researches are uh, utilized for the understanding the coexistence of fisheries and money animals or the wildlife conservation. Until now, uh, five students got doctoral degree uh, by using our information or uh, samples and at least 42 publications or at least 104 presentations are uh, already conducted uh, to the public.